Good morning. For those of you who are new to me, my name is Kelly Bowker. I'm a light language worker and a channel, and I do lots of fun things with spirit and people. And I have one-to-one -one meetings quite often with people who come to me with struggles in their life and they have questions for the guides. And I often take excerpts. I edit all of the um, identifying information, of course, out. And But I put the answers to the questions on my YouTube channel because we're all searching and we're all asking the same questions, quite frankly. And the following video that you're going to watch, I needed to give a little bit of explanation to. Um, it's an incredibly powerful video. I really want you to uh, not do it while you're driving because th there is some very strong energy that comes through this. And if you want to get the most benefit out of you, out of the video, I mean, I would really encourage you to take a couple of deep breaths and I'll do it right with you right now. Take a couple deep breaths into your heart. Just balance that energy out. Send your grounding down to Mother Earth and thank Mother Earth. I want to explain that when I'm doing these, it's basically a meditation. When I am doing these meditations now, I am going into a, an altered state that is different than it has been up to this point. I want you to know that everything that I am saying, even though I kind of switch in and out of first person and wheeze and all of that kind of stuff, because I'm what Kelly head is way, way out here and the energy is just flowing. So when I channel, people have asked me, you know, like, how does it work? And it's taken me a long time to be able to describe it, but it's like knowings come through. And even though I'm altered and out here, I'm my language and my ability to speak has to digest the knowing and the feeling and the pictures that they give me in my mind. And so that's happening in this particular video really fast and really powerfully with really, really big knowings. So I just want you to understand that the directions are from the angels and the guides. The the telling you what to do, what to picture. This is them coming to you to help you release what you might need to release in this moment for your highest good. So ground your energy thoroughly. I have listened to this myself a couple of times since I did it, and I found myself in my mind chanting, I surrender and I release. I surrender and I release. Whatever boils up in you, you know, yes, this is, I, I agree, I let this go, I want to let this go. They're going to give you really specific instructions on bringing up bad memories, bringing up thoughts that trigger you and throwing them into this beautiful vortex of energy that they're going to create with you. So tie a knot and hang on, my friends. Um, I want to just give a quick shout out to my Tuesday meetings. Go to presentmomentmagic.as.me. It will be in the link below. And um, if you want to sign up, there's an $8 fee. If the $8 fee is too much for you, just give me a quick email or private message and I will send you the link. It, it's about getting the message out. And it is Tuesdays, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that's my time and the app will adjust it. And I do want you to wait. I'm going to be sending out, if, if you, once you have signed up, the day of, I will be sending out a link because I'm having technical issues. Can you imagine that, that I'm having technical issues? So blessings, love to you all. Have a great day. And maybe I'll see you on a Tuesday because they all, they you can do one or you can do them all. See you later. Over, we're going to start by praying, and I, I just pray, Father, because that's where I've always been able to connect to the Holy Spirit, and it is the Holy Spirit. Praying. That energy that we felt before we knew all the stuff that we know now is the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is exactly that: is the Holy Spirit of the All, the Oneness, the Spirit of Connection, the Spirit of the allness 
And we are asking in this moment for that beautiful spirit to move within both of us, to help us surrender, help us surrender our self-judgment, help us to surrender, Father, help us to surrender the feeling of holding ourselves up in comparison to anyone else, any other of your children. I ask in this moment that I can be a clear conduit that the beautiful, beautiful energy of the cosmos can come through me, come through me in this moment to meet the needs of anyone who ever listens to these words and also myself, Kelly, the human that is walking this earth on this timeline. I ask that we are able to fall back as little children, to come back into the energy of the child, the innocence of the child that has not been hardened, that has not been molded by this world and the harshnesses that we have gone through as we've walked our journey on this path. Let us find our way, let us find our way back to that surrendered, innocent, trusting place where our heart is open and we know that we are one with it all. We have not learned the separateness, we have not taken in all of the duality. Let us feel the quickening in our heart, the knowing in our heart that we are God's children, that we are seen, that there's not a blade of grass on this earth, there's not a <clears throat> hair on anyone's head, there's not a grain of sand on any shoreline that is not seen and loved by the creator, that that love is rampant in this world, even when we can't see it, even when we can't feel it, the love is rampant in this world. Say yes, dear one, say yes within your heart. Say yes within your hearts to the knowing and the blending and the merging of the energy that can come. Send your groundings, dear ones. Send them down to Mother Earth. Send your groundings out of your feet. Send the fingertips to the beautiful, beautiful shards of energy coming out of your fingertips into Mother Earth traveling from the cosmos down through your energy system, out your root chakra into Mother Earth, connecting the all, connecting you, the human, to Mother Earth, to the cosmos. Opening every cell within your body to the DNA level, igniting within you the next level of knowing, the next level of understanding and re- Firing within all of you, firing within you the passionate connection that is available in all moments and time. Do not look forward to any moment. Do not look back to any moment. That is your ego. Thank your ego for drawing your attention into the present moment. Thank your ego for reminding you of the discomfort that you feel when you are not blended with the all. Thank and love your ego. Do not push against. Welcome it in. Hold it dear with love and compassion. Know that the ego is part of the beautiful process, the beautiful evolutionary path that you are on. 
the expansion, the beautiful melding is all part and parcel of the same thing. Asi kiarakano ma a ninya a ninya na a no ma na. Set your intention to surrender. Set your intention within this moment to surrender in this moment any aspects of yourself that is holding you away from blending and merging with the all that you are. You are one, dear one. You are one in this moment. You are one with the animals that walk your planet. You are one with the trees and the leaves and the sky. You are one with the stars. You are one with the galaxies. There is no sentient being that you are not one with, and they see you. They see you with love. They see you with compassion. They are giving you the nudges and the feelings and the emotional hits that are drawing you forward to the awesome, wondrous blending that is available to all of you. The knowing of your perfection. Feel the space that the tone creates. Utilize the tones in your daily life. When you cannot feel the energy that you are reaching for, the vibration of the tone is an opening to that energy. When you tone, feel the vibration within yourself and follow the edges as it reaches to your angelic team. Feel the edges as it goes out and blends with the all. There is no moment, dear ones, on this planet that any of you, regardless of your walk, regardless of your circumstance, regardless of your life path, there is none of you that is not perfect in this moment. And you ask, what of those who do the atrocities? What of those who are walking this path in what one would consider through the eyes of duality with making the, the mistakes, the bad decisions, and the continuum goes from the bad decision within the day to the atrocity? This is the fodder that duality is based upon. That judgment that these things are in some way hmm, on this gradient of energetic badness, we will say. What we would have you know is that you... And all humans with your feet on this planet are perfect in this moment. So when you are struggling with accepting your own mm, mistakes and mm, 
what you see as zigs and zags on the continuum that is your life, realize we see the person down here on that continuum with the same love and compassion and oneness as we do you, as we do the guru that you see as being walking such a pure life. For what is a purity? What is purity? If you wanted to be pure positive energy, you would still be part of the part of you that is. This is for the experience, dear one, on this planet. You are down here to trip and fall and skin your knee and figure out how to walk around that. I would have you know with great clarity and thunder if we could create it in this moment, which we could, but it would be over the top, is that you are doing exactly correct in this moment. When you feel lost, come to the present moment. Nothing is going wrong. Realize all of the tips and the tricks and the hacks that this one has brought through that we have sent through her. Utilize those. There is a reason that those like us who find their open channel to bring messages of hope through bring through these tips and tricks and hacks. For the human needs something to wrap their egoic brain that tricks that egoic monkey mind. And that is what we would remind you of. And to see yourselves, all, all of you on this planet, to see yourselves through our eyes. You are doing the work of God. You are in this moment doing the work of God. How does God expand? God expands through experience. And regardless of the experience, it is expanding the all. So many of you look around and you are looking for this purpose. There's got to be this purpose that has lights and bells and whistles. But the purpose, dear one, is love. Love of this in each human on this planet. Imagine the effect that it would have. The unrest that you all feel is the unrest of the calling. You all think you don't hear your higher selves, but you hear it in your unrest because you feel one. You know there is a better. That in itself is a judgment. But from the human perspective, you know there is a different way of being because of how it feels, how it resonates with you. That is what you are being called to, my dear. Each of you, in your own way, you have lived a life of care for all of the people in your life. Teresa, you have shared your wisdom and your love and your kindness you have been very tapped in the majority of your life and you have worked diligently to share that. Now it is time to turn that on to you. It is time to realize that your purpose and your project is you, your own well-being, your own joy, your own happiness in this moment. You are perfect. You are so very 
very wrong. You are so surrounded by angels and guides and loved ones. You have a team that is right gathered close, nudging and touching and pulling you forward. The unrest that you are feeling is the love that is calling you forward. You just need to remind yourself that you are worthy, that you are worthy. No one has kept score. You are the only one keeping score, dear one. No one has kept score of this lifetime or any lifetime. The only reality that is here is the present moment and the perfection that you are in the present moment. But the human goes, but, but I, but I, but I. We don't see any of that. We see your light when it shines in the present moment. And when your light is not shining, we are calling you forward until you have that moment when it shines and that's the light that goes in. That is the purpose that turns up the crystalline void. It calls those who are so, we will use the term because it is understandable to the human brain. It is not exactly correct. But those who are perhaps on that spiral at a different place, it is those like you who are calling them forward. And it is those like others who are calling you forward. Because when you connect and your heart feels what you're striving to feel in this moment, it shines a light into your planet. It beats the heart of Mother Earth and it calls everything forward, everything forward. That is the purpose. It is the purpose of tending to you, loving you, caring for you, nurturing you. And then you're going to begin to feel the quickening of the trust that the next moment is going to be just fine and the moment after that and so on. Would you ask us any questions at this time? Let's reestablish our grounding, send our energy down to Mother Earth. Ask Angel Raphael in this moment to balance, to bless, to adjust our chakra system. Adjust our energy for our highest good in this moment. We ask the beautiful white energy to come through our energy system and clean out that which does not serve us in this moment and take it down to Mother Earth. And we thank Mother Earth at this time for accepting all from us that does not serve us. See the beautiful circulating energy, the beautiful energy above your head. See the cyclone starting to circulate around and around. Visualize it above your head. Let it be whatever color comes. Each angel has its 
own color and as the energy moves through your chakra system, they will utilize the colors. Allow the colors to come. Let the colors flow as they will. Let your mind open to it. Know that the angels are working within your system, your energy system. If you have a memory that you know is part of the uh, unworthiness and the not enoughness, if a memory pops in your mind, throw it into this beautiful circulating energy. Circulate that energy, let the energy go. Move the energy from inside you, tiny circles going through your center, gathering from the tiniest at the DNA level, gathering up, gathering all, all that is ready to be released. Any memory, let any memory, if a memory comes into your mind, throw it into the circulating energy, making the energy get bigger, bigger within your body, bigger within your cells, getting, loosening, thrashing about. Let that energy come. Let the energy be as big as it needs to be, as strong as it needs to be, whatever color it needs to be, setting your intention to surrender, to surrender anything in this moment, surrendering anything, tossing it into the energy, letting it flow with the energy, surrendering anything that can go at this moment. The energy of Mother Earth is coming up. Carrying it with it. Opening the doorway. Now the energy is blended. The energy between Mother Earth. The energy between Mother Earth and the all. The cosmos. All. And we are but a speck upon that beautiful connection. And the energy is flowing. It is up to you, dear one, to cast it in, to cast it in, to allow it to be gone, to allow the unworthiness, all of the mistakes, all of the anything that has happened up to this point, to throw it into the swirling energy, visualizing the pink, visualizing the red as it swirls, beautiful swirling, 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 swirling energy. Any memories, anything that makes you feel not enough, anything that happened to you when you were a tiny little girl, reaching even across dimensions, across timelines, uh, reaching, reaching across dimensions, reaching, reaching, reaching across dimensions. At this time, we are asking all that does not serve, that does not serve the individual to be cast out, to be cast out and to be healed, to go into Mother Earth, to be alchemized. Dig deep and reach, dear one, reach with your own energy in your mind, pushing your energy across dimensions, across timelines, across incarnations and realms. There is something to be healed. Bring it in with your intention. We intend in this moment, Kelly and Teresa in this moment intend that anything that is adding to any feelings of unworthiness, not enoughness, anything that is holding our evolution back on this timeline, in this incarnation, we ask that it come forward. We do not have to understand how this works. We are setting our intention. We are using our hands as funnels bringing across dimension into this beautiful energy. Bringing across the dimensions anything that needs to be released. We send the energy of love from this moment, from the love that we know God holds for us, and we push and we send that energy across dimensions, across timelines, incarnations, and realms. We know that the energy of this moment, we know that the energy that we have, because we are all one, all time is now, we know we have an effect 
across any timeline, across any dimension, any incarnation in any realm. We send love. We send worthiness. We send allowing. We send forgiveness. We send hope. We send love. We send all that our hearts can hold across all timelines, across all dimensions, across all incarnations and realms. We bring the love that is God to them all. We send it out on the crystalline grid. We send the energy out to touch the heart of the poor, to touch the heart that needs to be touched. We are that moment of calling forward in this time. We are the energy that is calling all forward, the world forward to the higher, to the love, to the oneness, to the beautiful timeline that we have available to us. We send that beautiful energy to rain, rain across dimensions, rain across incarnations, rain across timelines and realms. Any remaining unworthiness, any remaining judgment, judgment of ourselves, judgment of our family, judgment of our journey, we send the release of that. We send the forgiveness for that out, out across all dimensions, out across all timelines and realms. Swirling, swirling the energy now. The energy is getting bigger and bigger and bigger swirling the energy as it goes around and around and if a memory pops into your mind throw that memory into that energy and it will carry it down to mother earth to be alchemized to make the trees and the grass and the flowers grow Say yes, dear ones. Say yes in your heart. Say yes for the alchemy that is happening in this moment. Say yes to the possibility, to the love, to the hope. Say yes. Set your intention to forgive anything that you feel is unworthy and know that we do not have anything to forgive. There is nothing happening on this earth. This is one of the concepts that is the most difficult for the humans to wrap their mind around. There is nothing happening on this earth that requires forgiveness because there is nothing going wrong. There are no mistakes. It is all the experience. It is all the illusion. It is all for the expansion of the whole. You live your lives you live your lives on this planet and you have the opportunity in every moment to go left or to go right, to follow love, to follow oneness, to follow known, wholeness, or to step away from it in judgment, to step away from it in recriminations, to step away from it in not enoughness and unworthiness because somehow in your heart you believe that God made the mistake of creating you. There are no mistakes. There are no mistakes. There is only perfection. There is only perfection. We 
promise in your heart, dear one. Say yes to the love. Say yes to the worthiness. Say yes to all that you are. Say yes to the remembering. Say yes to the hope. Say yes to the forgiveness. Say yes to the knowing and the beingness, the isness of the moment. Say yes, dear one, and know that you are seen. Say yes, dear one, and know that you are loved unconditionally and that this energy on this side is unconditional love. It is unconditional love. And when you are vibrating anywhere except in the knowing that you are unconditional love, it doesn't feel right to you, and that's why it doesn't feel because you are in unconditional love. You are unconditional love in the world and you are unconditionally loved in this moment and in all moments. In the moment of the biggest atrocity that you think you've ever created, you were loved completely, totally, and unconditionally. In the moment of kindness and joy, you are loved completely and totally and unconditionally without difference. There is no difference in those moments. Those moments are completely and totally the same. The human mind agreed to duality. The human mind agreed to the idea that one thing is better than the other to re have the experience of remembering back to the knowing. And that is what's calling you forward, dear ones. So any moment that you are not feeling the swelling of love in your heart, it is because you are seeing yourself through the eyes of human not through the eyes of God. And that perspective is available to you always. So you set your intention in every moment. I will see myself through the eyes of God. I will see myself as an extension of God. I will see my perfection. I will see my worthiness. I will see my oneness. I will see my wonderfulness. I will see all the beauty that is me. And I release in this moment any cord that is connecting me to any belief other than the truth that I am God, 